Mutant Tog. I am Martin Luther. Actually, I'm Pastor Fred Hearn of St. James Lutheran Church in Marion, Indiana. And uh, welcome to our new podcast, What is a Lutheran? with Pastor Fred. This podcast is being developed um, so that we can talk about what a Lutheran is. Um, St. James Lutheran Church is in Grant County um, in the state of Indiana, which interestingly enough is uh, uh, mostly full of people of different denominations, such as Methodist and Wesleyan. We are the only Missouri Senate Lutheran Church in, in the entire county. And so a lot of times we get the question, so what's with you Lutherans? You know, what are you, especially Missouri Senate Lutherans? Or as Clint Eastwood said in his movie Grand Torino, it's always the Lutherans. So this is what this uh, podcast is here to help explain a little bit. What is a Lutheran? Now, most Roman Catholics, when they talk about us as Lutherans, they kind of look upon us and say, well, they're like Protestants. You know, um, they may look a little bit like us, but they're basically Protestants. When Protestants look at us, they say they're Roman Catholics. Or they use the term, I've heard, crypto-Catholic, whatever that means. The Catholics that got married, um, I guess. And so people are confused by that. And then they also see that, you know, in our name, um, St. James Evangelical Lutheran Church, and most uh, Lutheran congregations have that evangelical in there. And so they say, well, you're, you're evangelical. And you go, yeah, we're evangelical, but we're not like your evangelical neighbors, you know, that knock on your door and ask you, well, have you found Jesus? See, we as Lutherans don't think that Jesus could ever get lost. You know, he's God after all, so we're not really looking for him. So yes, we're evangelical, but not in that sense. Uh, if you look at the word evangelical, it has angel in the middle of it, and angels are messengers. So message, E-V or E-U in Greek and Latin means good, so good message. So we are people that spread the good news, the good message of salvation um, in Jesus Christ. Again, what is a Lutheran? Well, I would challenge you to take a few weeks and go visit some churches. And let's say you walk into a church on Sunday morning, and you see they have a pulpit where the preaching is done, right? And they have an altar. And you see the guy that's kind of leading things. He spends a lot of time around the altar. You know, they're doing communion, and maybe they got the baptism font, and they're baptizing people, and, and that, there's a lot of prayers and liturgy back and forth, talking back and forth between him and the people singing. And, and maybe he gets in the pulpit for, for a little while, but that's not really the emphasis. If you see that, you're probably in a Roman Catholic church, or an Eastern Orthodox church, or maybe an Episcopalian, or, you know, an Anglican church, or something um, like that. However, if you walk in on another Sunday morning and you see, well, you know, um, they got the pulpit and maybe they have an altar, maybe they don't, maybe it's just a stage, but even if they do have, let's say, an altar, the pastor guy, he doesn't spend a lot of time around it. You know, he doesn't, they, communion may probably not be done, not a big emphasis on some baptismal font, but he spends like 45 minutes in the pulpit preaching, you know. And that's the big thing, and maybe some music. You're probably in a Baptist church, or uh, even uh, a non-dominational church, or, or maybe a Methodist or Wesleyan church like we have around here. However, if you walk in on a Sunday morning, and um, you see that, yeah, they got a pulpit, and they got an altar, and, you know, the pastor guy, he spends a lot of time around that altar. They're doing communion, and... And there's a baptismal font there. And he also gets in the pulpit. And he preaches for not 45 minutes, but for maybe 15, 20 minutes. And there's a big emphasis on that. If you see that, you just might be in a Lutheran church. Okay? One of the things that we emphasize as Lutherans is word and sacrament. So the word of God being proclaimed and preached and the sacraments of baptism and communion. So in Lutheranism, you kind of get a two-for-one deal, right? You get both at the price of one, although we don't charge anything, just so you know. Okay, so that's how you can kind of figure out um, where you're at. 
And, and Lutherans believe in four alones. That's another thing that kind of distinguishes us from maybe some of the others. Uh, not that they don't believe similar things, but they don't use this verbiage. So we believe, number one, Scripture alone. The scripture is the Bible. And we believe that it is the inspired Word of God. The yes, man wrote it, but they were, he was in, they, he was, the man that, men that wrote it were inspired by God to write the words they wrote. We also believe it's inerrant in the original documents, not in the translations, that it, it is without error. And thirdly, that it is infallible, that it can't be wrong because, well, it's the Word of God. And we believe it is our sole source of authority. That when we do doctrine or how we live out our lives as Christian, it's the only book that we put extreme confidence in. That's where it all lies, in Scripture. We also believe in grace alone. Now, grace is another word for gift. And so we say, well, grace means every, our salvation that God gives to us is free. But think about this for a moment. Are gifts in our culture really free? You know, you go to Christmas, birthday parties, so-and-so gives you a gift. Well, sometimes there's an expectation because so-and-so gave you a gift that you're going to give them a gift in return, right? So it's not really a free gift. That's a gift with strings attached, which really isn't a gift. But when we talk about grace, that is a free gift that God gives us our salvation by grace, that we don't earn it, that we don't work for it and get it, that we don't justify it. It's given as a free gift. And it's given to us through Faith alone. Again, it's not Christianity is not about living a moral life or being a moral person, although that hopefully is a byproduct of that. But our faith is in Christ and in Him alone, and we trust that. Now, what is faith? Well, faith is not just simply believing that Christ lived and that He died on the cross and rose from the dead. It's not a historical knowledge. It's not an informational type knowledge. It's trust. And that's another word for faith, is trust, that we not only believe that, but we trust that because of his death and resurrection, that we are forgiven and have eternal life through our faith in him. The last one ties in with all the other ones. The fourth alone is in Christ alone. We believe that there is only one God, and that Jesus Christ, the second person of the Trinity, who took on flesh and died for our sins, and that it is only in Jesus Christ that we can get salvation. That there is no other way to heaven except through him. That all the other gods in that are just mere idols and don't really exist. And so our faith is in Christ alone. So to sum it up, we basically believe that we are saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Okay? And that's what scripture teaches us. And we use this terminology, we are justified by faith alone. And that's all kind of tied in there. Faith alone in Jesus Christ. That's a Lutheran maxim. Um, we use that term um, um, quite a lot. And um, so that kind of helps you maybe identify with, you know, what is a Lutheran? Next week, we're going to talk about who's God? What is he? How is he described and what does he look like in some sense? So thank you for joining us for um, What is a Lutheran uh, with Pastor Fred here in St. James Lutheran Church in Marion, Indiana. And we will see you next week. Blessings.